So, what exactly are global public goods? Simply, it's something that's available to everyone in the world, like clean air. But it's more than that. Let's break it down. Public goods are defined as commodities and services that are non-excludable. That just means they benefit all of us. They are also non-rivalrous. They can be used over and over again without running out. Public goods enjoyed close to home, like access to fresh drinking water, education, or infrastructure, like roads and bridges, are a critical factor in country-based development projects. It's equally critical to address challenges that cross international borders. The most pressing of these include climate change, pandemics, and those associated with fragility, conflict, and violence. So, the World Bank Group is reimagining how to tackle these crises, urging the global community to recognize a shared obligation and commitment. The bank's Climate Action Plan aims to boost, in a big way, projects that help people adapt to the challenges posed by climate change. And projects that encourage reducing the use of coal, for example, mean less air pollution for everyone. The bank is also injecting a surge of financing into health systems around the world to help people prepare for the next major outbreak, protecting people's health so they can pursue opportunities. As the COVID-19 global pandemic made clear, the world needs international coordination now more than ever. By safeguarding the things that we will all benefit from, the World Bank can play a critical role to help navigate new and ongoing global crises and reshape development for a new era. <laughs>